Okay guys, so uh, here's our week 17 um, progress on the new shelter. And I have a guest for this week's update. There's Jean. Hi Jean. How you doing? Uh, bored, meet Jean. Jean, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, you when you came on this project, what your specialty is and what uh, you do at Joma? My background is restaurants. Just so that's where I come into play as far as all of that. So as far as pushing the schedule and all that, it depends on what we hit, the backup, the, all the different areas we got to go through and all this. But I don't know. So you're coordinating all the teams here all day. Correct. Um, so, so if anybody stops over during the day, you'll find Gene uh, set up in one of the, the offices and you should stop by. He's super friendly. He loves cats, by the way. <laughs> 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 and uh no joke he does, he does. um so hey gee you want to walk us through this week's uh updates and show what the team's been all working right on? so out front we've already had the architect out here and he's staked off where he had it with chalk where the new pergola and all the posts are going to be sitting oh yeah so oh yeah i see that uh, here's where the chalk was we're gonna have posts set here all the way down to the surgery entrance Oh yeah. Okay. So the concrete guy is supposed to come out and bid all this for today. Okay. So. So um, what they're doing is kind of uh, making you know the additions from the outside look like they did right. on the renderings with Correct. that. Correct. Yeah. Cool. And That's then a you're nice gonna have feature. two different levels. Well, it's actually gonna be three levels because the main adoption area is gonna step up two foot higher. This area is gonna be just a little bit higher than the pergola. Uh huh. And all of your sidewalk should be covered. So when they're walking down the sidewalk, they're dry. That's going to be nice. Nice feature. Yeah. And so those bay windows will be, you know, um, we won't have a lot of direct light coming in. It'll be nice and right. sort of tempered by the, the It'll help break arbor. It up. Yeah. Cool. All right. What's, uh, what's going on on the inside? Uh, the heat air guys have all the existing air ducts run while we're waiting on the structural engineers to restructure all of the support to support the new units on the roof. Oh, all right. So all the old units are back to where they need to be can um can we go in and you show oh, yes, us what the there's been so much structural work uh even to the interior on the ceiling and um some things are going to be raised right and give right. it a, a much more they'll be heightened. raising all of the sprinklers in the adoption area mm -hmm. as well as this is your new trunk line that's running above the conference room and oh offices. yeah i see that which was located over by that post yeah. So they've relocated and rerun it. Now, um, these are going to be wrapped, right? Correct? So they're not going to be... Right. They'll wrap these or... Th these will be wrapped. The ones that are going to be out in the adoption area, they're going to be internally insulated. Got so it. So they don't sweat. Okay, cool. So it won't look like a gleaming metal right. tube. It's going to have a nice black one, wrap on it. This one you'll never see because it's above the ceiling of the conference room. Oh, that's bathrooms. right. Yes, you're right janitor's closet all of that mm -hmm. cool and then they've got the offices reworked back in they just repositioned oh, yeah. everything yep yep and uh window frames laid in it's a little dark in there but yep yep cool oh, so you ain't live what so you're not live no you? we're not live i thought you was live no and uh i don't edit by the way though because oh, okay. <laughs> i don't know how <laughs> So this is where uh, Gene's office is. Let's see. This was Will's old office. So yes. you can read, you can read the office and talk to Gene anytime. <laughs> <laughs> anytime. <laughs> What's going on here in, so in quarantine? The quarantine room. Since we have got X on the outside kennels, mm -hmm. we've added the windows so nice. there is some light coming into the quarantine areas. Yeah, that's nice. So we've got the windows up high, so that the cleanliness part of it ain't an issue mm -hmm. but it still lets natural light in for the dogs and uh what's the dimensions of these these They're are going to be perfect. two by four two foot wide by four foot tall yeah nice from and the spacious. frame so they're all supposed to line up exactly with the windows on the back and the ones across oh, yeah, the front look at that. that way everything's consistent that's beautiful and we have all of your dog ward the dog adult dog kennel doors mm -hmm. they're all bricked in and framed in nice can we see what's going on in the outside yes we can step outside yeah let's, look go. At that. let's do that 
we lost a little bit of momentum for the for the six weeks on the skylight project but as i understand it it might have been a blessing in disguise yes. because right some of the structural components of the roof had to be reevaluated oh, to yes. to be like load bearing for the right. hvac right and it, it's just all the different things that you have to do to make a big change like that cool all right Ooh, look at this all right we got so, dog doors so their tunnel will be brick mm -hmm. that way you ain't got to worry about them destroying it <laughs> that would be good <laughs> Yeah, the cool. Guy is supposed to come out and get ready to get started on all of this. Oh, nice. As well as the dogwood concrete out back. All right, that's cool. You know, there's um over here. What I was trying to um you know explain to somebody who wanted a, a tour is when the dogs are outside here where where right. Jean is, <laughs> they can uh, they can watch the hawks. We have a lot of hawks and a lot of squirrels and just a lot of um wildlife and people coming out to visit with them so this is a really cool feature that that gene and his team are laying in this plumber is also going to be adding seven drains one centered in each one of these kennels okay and everything's going to be tapered so it's oh nice out into the parking lot <laughs> yeah that wouldn't be good so keep it nice and clean and right. easy to disinfect they're working on the drawings and whether we're going to use an awning to go across all of it. Okay. And leave about a foot of the transom exposed. Yeah. The awning, so you get natural light into the. Oh, that's nice. They'll love that. So. Right, on, right on. What's going on over here on the outside? Anything? Um, is there so, some plumb lines that got to be laid in pretty soon? Um, as of now, not yet. Right. We're waiting on Big Safe to come out and mark all the gas lines. Water oh, lines okay. Before we can the drains and tie them in all right because you got gas line water line the fire controls yep there we go what's going on um on surgery side any, any updates on the surgery side i've got the guys joma's got the guys in there putting the existing doors back into the walls that oh that's are, right so yeah we've added the three doors that were in the existing walls cool that and we're working with the structural engineer for the heat and air to get the, all the units set on the roof so yeah. that they don't fall through the roof. <laughs> yeah, let's not make them an addition to right. the uh, adoption lobby. <laughs> no, that's right. And they're super efficient models, right? right. The, so we should um, see a lot of improvement on our utility bills. And um, they're zoned, right, uh, right, Gene, so that our hospital can get better right. cycling? So the the way I'm reading it and understanding it, cat ward, surgery, and prep will all be with one unit. Mm -hmm. The dog ward and the exam room right there beside the dog ward will have one unit. And then the adult dog area will have a zoned off unit. And then the quarantine will have its own. Oh, separate. that's good. So even better for, you know, germ control and, right. you know, um, guest experience for odor right. control. And just, yeah, that's cool. All right. Well, can can I torment you next week to give uh, the walkthrough again? Sure. This is this is going to be so popular, Gene. You're oh, going to be a star. I hear you. <laughs> That's no problem. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Gene. No problem. Bye.